So, so yeah, so basically this is the text. It's um, an internal dialogue that I'm trying to externalize with your help. So this is how it's gonna work. Um, we're gonna go for a while, and then when I come out to the crowd, I'm gonna ask if you, like, each individually, will kind of take a slip of paper and read into the mic, and read just the section of the paper. That's all you have to do. If you really don't want to do it, just fall down on the floor and run away from me. But um, I might just walk up to you and beg you, and it would be really nice because we won't be able to produce the experience together if you don't do it. <laughs> I don't know really how to put it. I kept thinking about how to kind of like say this like really articulately, very clearly, and you know, controversy. But I'm just like, just do it. Come on. Um, <laughs> Got you. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, and I brought a flashlight. And it's too dark. Um, yeah. Let's do it. My 
future is not yours to live with. Instead of speaking, I do tiny things to remind you. To remind you we are connected in our abandonment, alienated, and advocated. Since I do not trust the people who identify as activists, those people, this becomes difficult work. This lack of trust comes from watching enough tables get overturned, from watching people spend more time getting interviewed than being in actual struggle, or playing teacher to the children to avoid the fact they haven't done anything but capture the flag and follow the leader. These days and yes, I'm a little fragile, a paper mache structure recirculating the defense mechanism. Here's some more report. A fear overtook me when my section of the crowd made a snap diversion at the side street just before Herald Square. I witnessed the decision and the emphasis to keep the group together and immediately wanted to pull away. B emphasized the importance of staying with the group, but she also admitted similar apprehension of the crowd. I trust her focus and appreciate how she tells me to focus on the drone that blankets the city. A paper mache structure recirculating the defense mechanism. Here is some more report. A fear overtook me when my section of the crowd made snap diversions at the side of the difficult. The whole point is to be a presence in the group. I feel myself pulled away, not because I don't believe in that, but more because I believe in it too much. Running on the notion that like mindedness will keep us together has been treacherous territory for me. The instinct to retract is inappropriate at this moment, and I don't know what to do. The first association when you say humiliation is shame. I have lost count of the times that I trusted someone enough to tell them what I really believe. But to have that thrown back at you has a special flavor of humiliation. Just before, when we walked through the East Village, it was hard for me to not think of the girl who used to think a certain way about things, but how that became you. In the way an older building loses its shine with chronic paint jobs for the new tents, I have become ashamed of her.
this was the part I mentioned when we made that diversion. And, and I saw thousands and thousands running down 34th Street. It was a terrifying thrill. We run the streets and some are not afraid. I think about how my future is built. I keep trying to fix this, but I'm not sure that I can. I span the field to find my way back where my voice cannot be stretched out of my hands for a time. I am a suspicious being tonight for standing, then for sitting. I won't apologize for taking up space when I carry a large backpack, so why now? This is the privilege earned by an education that has adventured me. I guess this is what they mean when they say the devil is in the details. I buried my joy in Eden. It aged well, but still disappointed because it began in the world and ended in the mind. All that can really be agreed upon is that forgiveness is a process. Maybe this process is a process, and who cares about that? I wish we could transport to the between place, between love and sad, not for the cathartic, but more for the vicarious. But here we are inspired and disgusted immediately. I have been swallowed too many times. The cutting is from the numb. Needing language and memory into bread. I could feed the world, but what is that? That desire. The reenactment of the oppressor from where I am born. I feel from a cocoon shielded only with the suffering. The humanity will survive to make this thing keep going. Providing liberation by being the watcher. Leading through a storm. A baptism. A rite. A happy satire day. Some want to squash that, that desire. You try to change and people will complain. So the future is not yours to leverage. So open your eyes because you and I are the same thing so beautiful. My future is not yours to leverage. This protest is a weight of mirrors, working from a space as a problem. Instead of speaking, I do tiny things to remind you. Instead of speaking, I do tiny things to remind you. Instead of speaking, I do tiny things to remind you. To remind you, we are connected in our abandonment, alienated, and advocated. Since I do not trust the people who identify on the choice of this, those people, this becomes difficult work. Here is some of the report. Today, the crowds didn't get around the police to get to Times Square, and yeah, that was really not supposed to be my experience. And now, I'm on the notion of disorder-mindedness will keep us together in the treacherous territory. The instinct to attract instead of speaking to the remind you, we are connected in our abandonment and attitudes I do not trust the choice Yeah, that was really 